These are what you play for. This is what you work for, set up. Uh, these are games you need early in the year to get you ready for the wars that are coming up. They were physical. When we had to, we stopped them. I think this will really set us up for the rest of the year. St. Mary's Springs football has been one of the most dominant programs in the state. Head coach Bob Highland is the winningest in state history and fourth all-time nationally. 499 victories over five decades, leading the Ledgers. And this week, going after magic number 500. Cody Krupp has the story. Give back to what I got out of football. People don't understand that. Um, I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for football and uh, getting a job and starting off at St. Mary Springs. In 1971, Bob Highland became the new head football coach. I wasn't applying for a head job at all, and it just fell into my lap. We were going to be here for a few years, and uh, uh, all of a sudden, it's 52 years later, and we're still here, so everything else is history. He would build this program from the bottom up as there were some humble beginnings in the early years of the Highland era. 52 years ago, remember the first game, couldn't even get them to line up for Cal. They forgot how to as we came out of the locker room and we got pummeled by DePere Abbott Penning. When you start 115 and 2, uh, you can look back on that and say, boy, if things change. In 1983, the Ladgers would win their first of eight WISA titles and then in 2000 came the merger. When we went to the WIA, a lot of people didn't think we could compete and so we competed. Well, that is a little understated, a state record, nine state titles. It's been a heck of a ride. Hey, Brad, will still give you a goosebumps. Oh, they look up and they look around. It's, uh, it, it just gives me goosebumps. Yeah, and it gives them something else. We're going away! All 499 of his career victories came as the head coach of St. Mary Springs. <laughs> you feel like you're a lot tamer now. Than oh, I'm. I'm. Oh, every kid comes back and says, "Oh, he's mellowed," and that's true. I still get the voice though. I, I can still bark at him and, and get after him. Untouched. Nobody knows him like his wife Carol, who has been by his side from number one to 499. Physically, I'd like to have gone last year, but uh, my wife said, no, you, you, you don't have anything else to do. So all I do is play golf and, and uh, coach football. That's my hobbies. There's been a few times over his journey to 500 that Island has considered retiring. I guess I committed to, I would uh, stay till my grandkids are out. And uh, Brody's a sophomore. So you'll be done, you think? Yep, I will be done after Brody. After Brody, so you got yep. two more years after yep. this. Yep. He is set to become just the fourth ever high school football coach to reach that 500 win milestone. Yeah. Never, never thought of it. Never thought of this 500. Um, till recently when people start talking, you, it just gets to you. There's nothing I chased. Reporting from the ledge in Fond du Lac, Cody Croft, Fox 11 Sports. It is, it is. You figure, <clears throat> since we joined the WIA, there's only been three years, and one was a COVID year that we didn't make the semifinals. So I, I, that's a record I think I'm one of the most proud of right there. These kids work hard. They didn't let up. They didn't let them when they scored. They didn't get down. They came back and knew they had to do it again.